Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu sir uh, Sir very sorry for the delay that has happened yet um, So today uh, my name is Sayyid Sadaman and today we are going to have a talk with uh, Dr. Sayyid Azharuddin who is working currently as a researcher at the Gra Graduate School of Environmental Studies in Nagoya University, Nagoya, Japan uh, Sir's work involves studying past climate patterns and uh, he is going to speak to us today and hopefully he'll be uh, he'll inspire the students to pursue a career in research in climate science and give us a bit of an overview as to what that look like looks like so sir uh, please start by you know telling us a little bit about your field what is exactly what do you do what's your career I uh, studied in Aligarh and uh, from the childhood I had a like, very good uh, uh, I want to make my career in science and then uh, as like, I reached in the college days I pursued geography and then geology. So geology, I was always curious about like, art study and uh, how climate changes and how everything goes on on Earth. So uh, that brought me to this uh, when I was in my master's at the I got a chance to work in uh, oil and energy that company in India. So there I was exposed to uh, climate study and I was very curious about like, how after climate change and the longer it was like Come from 100 years or 1000 years or million years. So, from there, my journey started, and then I first uh, stayed, uh, stayed like pursued in this thing. And uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, I kept getting chances, and here I am right now. So, yeah, uh, this was a small introduction, and you already spoke about my work. So, uh, if there is anything or you want to add something more details about my work so uh, I'll be happy to answer uh, yes sir so let's start uh, you said that your interest was uh, you wanted to build a career from science uh, and uh, this was your you know ambition from very early on in your childhood I want to know how different your school experience and college experience was you know studying the subject and you know what kind of opportunities you got in both of you know and what kind of challenges you faced in your school days as well as your college days? See, uh, if you want to make a career in science, so if, in any type of field, like uh, nowadays there are like two types of uh, uh, study. One study is like just uh, study some subject and get good marks and just forget about it. The other thing is you study something which you really get interested to and then uh, you, you study it or you need things beyond your classroom. So that's what you you have like you have to feel that thing that that's studied in your life. Just like science, whatever like uh, if you are uh, if you want to make a career in science, you have to feel that thing. You know, what's going on around you and what is the actual reason. Because everything has a reason, science everything has a reason. So, uh, for classroom teaching, it's just, just like a small window which you are doing and you just learn the definitions and you just learn the phenomenon and try to just like that and so on. But for, uh, for being a scientist or to, to have that, that feeling inside you, you have to, you have to go into the depth. So, this is what all about, like if you want to make a career in something, not just in science or anything, so you have to go into the depth of that, not just superficial or just get a good mark and just forget that. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the, like, so we keep hearing all about, you know, climate change. Actually, one of the students uh, had a small question from our school. 
so the uh, muhammad yunus musharraf of grade 10 he has this question is how is this you know we are hearing all about climate change how is it going to change uh, what we are doing and how it is going to you know transform the future your studies that uh, insight it would be really uh, kind of you to share with us okay uh, so uh, for uh, for this question we have to uh, go a little back if we see the uh, the weather changing pattern during last like let's say 50 years the weather the climate has changed uh, rapidly and if we go back to several thousand years the climate never changed like that so here comes the question that why it is so that it is so fast. Never happened in the past, but recently, in the last century or so, uh, but it is rapid and you can see the results like environment is getting bad and bad, sea level is rising, you can see very unusual changes everywhere. Sometimes, sometimes America is getting flood and uh, sometimes. In India, uh, Bihar is getting flood, or uh, like Kerala is getting flood, and uh, sometimes Bihar is getting like uh, very uh, like uh, mine flood. So, very unusual type of uh, weather behavior are getting. So, uh, this is all about the thesis of my study that if we study the, the main cause of it. So we can actually do something for people. But the way it has changed in the last century is the havoc. So it's going to be a disaster in the next 100 years. So here comes the role of climate science that we have to control that. So we have to, I think, uh, the relevance of uh, my study. I hope I have answered. Uh, thank you, sir. On, on a more lighter note, um, you've worked in both Co Korea and Japan. Uh, what is the ex like? What was different in both experiences, and what is different in that experience of working abroad and the experience of studying or working in India? Yeah. See, uh, yeah, there is difference, uh, but uh, the thing is, your approach should be better. Uh, you will get different type of setups to work. Uh, yes, uh, when I was working in India during my time, I was working with marine uh, and uh, I used to study the ocean, and from ocean I used to study the past climate. Next, when I went to Korea, I got a chance to study Antarctica. Antarctica has like it has a history of millions of years, billions of years covering the ice. So my research was. I have bubbles, so I used to extract those bubbles and study the past uh, environment from that. Next, when I went to Japan, my uh, research already came. I am working with caves. Uh, we already have like caves all around. Caves have uh, stalagmite uh, clusters, sticking clusters. If you already have. Uh, also, I wanted to know what is exactly you know your lifestyle or like uh, what is you know your usual day at work. What are the sort of stuff you do on a day-to-day -day basis, and how is your lifestyle shaped by your career? Thank you. 
right so we have learned about you know the differences uh, also i wanted to know what is exactly you know your lifestyle or like uh, what is you know your usual day at work what are the sort of stuff you do on a day to day basis and how is your lifestyle shaped by your career uh, okay. uh, so for that i need to tell you more about my work and uh, day to day lifestyle Um, um, another thing is like you were all you said as that you were very you know inspired to work in science. Um, the current research you're doing, you said that you mentioned caves, you mentioned that you study the biology and chemistry of rocks. What you know propelled you towards you know this climate field, and uh, of course whatever research you're doing currently. I tried and I kept getting opportunities and opportunities. So, uh, 
for for younger customers. I want to know what kind of if somebody is you know inspired that they want to you know, pursue this field. What are the sort of opportunities or career paths they might have to take? Like, uh, yeah, these guys. Yes, do that. Uh, our companies uh, sometimes lack some type of uh, uh, like uh, uh, high uh, precision instruments or maybe what can I take? Uh, very very but world has has moved very fast. So sometimes there could be something that you are not getting uh, like uh, some uh, some important access to some very some some very important. So, but you should not stop yourself. You should stay busy, and and you should think of something that how you can solve your own problem, day-to-day -day problem, to achieve your goal. Not stop. If you are, if you have passion or goal for something, try to stay busy for that, and one day you will. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, you motivated us right now. Uh, I want to know what motivates you. You know, in return, I want to know what motivates you to work in this. Like, what motivates you and what uh, keeps you, you know, uh, inspired and you know, ambitious on this issue, on this topic. Yeah, when you work really hard for something, and, and you see the progress that you you have some like sometimes it happens. It, it happens to everybody that we work really hard, think a lot, that okay, we do this, we have. To, and you see that nothing will happen. So it becomes like it, it happens to everybody that it comes to some part that is that okay work too hard but there is something that but if you stay passive then the day will always come and that is the progress of your hard work. So this motivates me more that when I work really hard for something and uh, if we done, I see that okay, this is progress in my uh, my hard work is getting better. So that motivates me to work more and more and just uh, do something more for science. Uh, yes, sir. Um, also, I wanted to know uh, what kind of if somebody is you know inspired that they want to you know pursue this field. What are the sort of opportunities or career paths they might have to take? Can please guide us? Yeah, uh, this is a good question. Uh, nowadays, uh, uh, yes. the first thing you have to, uh, as I already uh, uh, like, uh, uh, so first, first, if you want to make a career in science, then just you have to feel the science, right? That whatever you are like, you have to go into that. Whether you will be at first in science, you will be very successful. Sir, I also wanted to know if there are any challenges, roadblocks, or obstacles that you have faced, and how did you go about facing them, solving them? Next, if you want to go to that path, you have to just about like there is like a lot of nowadays there are so many courses. We start with geology, we start with geography, we start with economics because. Climate science is also, also very big because climate is the most burning topic right now. So if you see that climate has affected almost everything, the economics of a country is also climate is affecting. Like nowadays, climate policies are getting uh, ways uh, to just cope the, uh, the economics of a country and all this like that, like carbon emissions and all those things. So uh, first thing is first, you have to make yourself clear about what you want to do in life. And if you make that clarification in your mind, then things will be very, very easy. But you have your because nowadays the thing is uh, actually uh, even in my 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 childhood uh, or my adult also, I was like not so clear about thoughts that okay I want to make a career but I'm not clear that what I want to do. So first thing is first that you have to make your career clear because if you are able to discover that what you want to do for yourself, then you can make a career. Otherwise, if you always say, okay, I want to make a career, this but this is also good. This field is also good, but because it has like a lot of job opportunities, it has a lot of like it has a lot of exposure. So your career should not be 
Yes, sir. Sir, I also wanted to know if there are any challenges, roadblocks, or obstacles that you have faced, and how did you go about, you know, facing them, solving them? Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, so you also mentioned about you know scholarship. So are like any scholarship grants or bursaries offered? Uh, and on the same note, uh, what sorts of institutes are you know preferred if somebody wants to pursue climate science? Where should they you know look at? As you said, you uh, talked about you know going local, but what are the best of the best in this? Uh, Nowadays, India is doing very good in scientific research. There are lots of very good IIT, lots of very good research. And now IAS is here, and now uh, ISERs are there, and IIT is there, which are doing very good in So, uh, uh, and then uh, there is like, uh, if you want to uh, 
Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, so I'd like to, you know, end the session with uh, posing you to the, the question: What is, you know, in general, what are, what is your advice to, you know, the students studying in school uh, who might be viewing or listening this interview? And what are your, like, any cl closing remarks apart from that, please? Understand that, 
or you mm. just uh, you want to know about more about that. So don't just read it. Okay, we have to write this one and plan and so on. No, just stay curious that why this is written and this. What is the background of this phenomena? So Google it. That nowadays a lot of resources are available. So do should be like you should you should be curious to like these things and then uh, next yes keep looking at opportunities. There are so many opportunities. Just uh, uh, and then uh, next I would suggest that uh, don't stop yourself. Like if you want to do something, a lot of investors will stop your way. Just like I mentioned that uh, there could be uh, economic crisis, there could be some some lack of opportunities, there could be some lack of uh, so many things. Like uh, sometimes many people don't get much uh, 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 advices from good people. Mashallah, you have such good people around you. So, uh, never stop yourself with some influences. Just if you want to achieve something in life, just stay passionate with that. There will be a lot of problems which will come in your way, but don't stop yourself for that. Just stay positive uh, and uh, stay curious about it. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, hopefully, this uh, session will be an inspiring one and uh, many students will get inspired from this talk. And uh, thank you once again, sir. Thank you for yeah, taking the time out. For, to... Yeah, thank you very much for, uh, for inviting me here. I don't know whether I was able to uh, convey my message or if I was able to answer all your queries. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, you can stay, anybody can stay in touch with me. Uh, my email is there. So, uh, you'll surely get uh, uh, my reply uh, if you email me about some, about your queries, about, um, about uh, some information or some, uh, if you want to have some, like discuss something with me, secretly, and I'll be happy to help uh, anybody. So thank you very much for inviting me here. Thank you once again, sir. Jazakallah. Uh, he led the meet. <laughs>